Hi guys. All right, so today we're going to build a small power supply that will run a small PC fan. And I seem to run into this quite a bit. I need a fan for some reason. Or in there, there may be you may be outside somewhere. There's no power, and it's just not feasible or whatever. So I want to make a fan, put all the bells and whistles on it, that it can run itself, and I can just I can just walk away. The other day I cooked one of these transistors on this board and I wasn't happy about that because I punch in those stinking numbers and I cannot find any information on that component. There's the heat sink. It's very frustrating and it's like the internet doesn't even know what it is. So I have to buy a whole new unit. But today, like I say, we're going to build one with all the bells and whistles, so stay tuned for that. Okay, so here's the components for our project. We have a simple power barrel, 18650s. We have, uh, I believe it's a 60 millimeter PC fan. I have a three cell Chinese BMS. A potentiometer, nice small one. And then we got this guy right here. This is a micro USB input charging board and you can charge anything you want with it. It actually boosts the 5 volt input up to 28 volts and you can control that with that potentiometer. I'm really excited about this. This opens up a lot of possibilities for uh, charging. They're just a couple of bucks and you can get a whole bunch of them. So we're going to use this to actually charge. I'm not going to charge through the BMS. I don't like charging through those BMSs because those Chinese ones, they just don't seem to really work the way they're supposed to. And just like the description, high quality, they're not high quality. It, it only charge up to like 4.0 volts or something like that. I'm just going to use the BMS for shutoff protection. All right, so we're going to start with this fan. You take the label off the back of this one, and there is a little white clip, plastic clip, that comes off and allows the fan portion to separate from the case. And then the internals of the fan actually just twist and it pops off. So the reason I want to do this is I want to clean all this up and actually wire my, wire, my power barrel wires right to I would call it the, the motor control board. I don't know. And that'll make it look a lot better. So that's what I'm going to do. So the black and the red are the ones that actually need the power. So we're going to remove all three of them, though. I wrote it down so I wouldn't, wouldn't have to worry about trying to remember it later. I think those guys disappear. Off there for something something else. Now we're gonna do something with this power. So barrel. I want to start. I want to mount the power barrel on the side of the fan housing, and then bring it around and run it along the location for the stock wires. I'm gonna, I think, put the potentiometer or the turn pot actually on right there. So what I'd like to do is put this power barrel mount it there on the side and put the turn pot right there as well so it can be adjusted right on the fan. I think right now we're just going to hold these wires on with some hot glue and just see how that goes. Alright, I got the motor in and I have it wired and soldered but I'm going to have to re-glue this. I already glued it once. Okay, so this turned out really clean. Real happy with that. It's just hot glue, nothing special. Let's pop it back together. Now for the power supply, we'll use three 18650s in series. That'll give us 12.6 volts, fully charged at 4.2 a piece.
This is something I like to do. It really helps just hold stuff still and in place. Put a clamp on there like that. As you can tell, these aren't the first time these uh, 18650s have been used. I've used them in a couple different projects, but they still work great. I really like using nickel stirrups because they just lay nice and flat. You can separate them with tape, and they look really nice. So I'm a big fan of using nickel strips for these. As you've seen in my other videos, I talk about using two soldering irons for the sole purpose that on these negative ends of these batteries they dissipate the heat so much that the solder doesn't get hot enough to actually adhere to the metal. So the two irons really makes a big difference. That doesn't look too bad. Let's get a voltage reading on this. These aren't completely charged. So 11.7 volts. That's what we want. I'm going to get this power barrel hooked up before I get it go any farther. Going to leave a lot of cordage on there. Or length. hot glue all over it. Dab of hot glue. That's the first bit. Now we're going to attach this board. I think it makes more most sense to put it just like that. Okay, now we're going to do the strips for the charging board. And this board will actually put out, if power is available, 2 amps. Alright, now we're going to wrap this one all the way around the back side. And we're going to tie into this negative. All right, and there we should have a fully functional battery pack. Well, it's all wired up. Let's give it a test. There we go. Now let's dial this tensiometer, play around with it a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Works good. I like to be able to dial stuff down so it's not loud. Okay, I'm going to get these uh, Strips covered up with more Kafton tape. And then we'll do a USB charge test. Now I don't have any clear PVC shrink wrap. I have blue, but I don't have any clear. I would really like to have some clear so you can actually see what all is involved in making that work. It's not just a couple of batteries with a couple of wires. There's actually a whole lot of stuff going on in here. So I'm just going to leave it wrapped in tape for now. At least you can see what all was involved in making this battery pack. And then I want to run one of those across the top of that. 
just because there's only really hot glue holding that on. And if it gets good and warm, it might just come loose. You can still get to the potentiometer knob right there. Okay, she's all buttoned up. Good enough for now, anyway. Let's do a USB test. Let me get this hooked up. I'm just running it off of my PC here. As you can see, we are plugged in. Let's see our numbers. One point seven five. So that's pretty close to two. That's close enough for me. Great. Real happy with that. So where would we see this project in use? This fan. Perfect example right there. Just blowing across that heat sink. There's our battery pack. And that is a boost converter. I have my solar panels wired into that and it's charging my lithium battery. So if you guys like this project, please give me a like and please subscribe because there will be more videos for things like this. So have a good day and we'll see you on the next one.